everybody, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my garden. Um, I was almost afraid I wouldn't be able to get a video done this today because this morning it just poured the whole morning. But since the rain has stopped, um, it seems like a nice fall day, not too cold. So today's video is going to be a, a final harvest for the fall. Um, I've, ha I've had a frost and so I decided to take out my rutabaga and I've also decided to just kind of harvest everything that's in the garden no matter what stage it's at. And so I believe there are going to be some jalapenos, um, a, probably a green pepper or two, uh, definitely some uh, t green tomatoes and a chocha. So follow along with me and see what's in my garden. So I'll we'll start first with my rutabaga. Because my soil wasn't the best for root vegetables, I'm not really expecting a lot, but I have seen a couple decent sized rutabaga. So we'll go through and uh, check them out. So you can see this one has basically the start of a rutabaga, but it just hasn't expanded at all. And so that's kind of what I'm expecting for most of them. This second one is a little bit more promising. As you can see, it has expanded a bit. So I, I believe I can definitely eat that. Um, it'll be a small meal though, so hopefully I'll have a few more this size. So here's what I finished with. As you can see, there's a few here where they're just kind of thin, but I figure, you know, get a few of these and that still makes for a decent side. But then I do have a couple that are quite large. I mean, comparatively speaking, of course. But you see this? It's a very nice globe. So all in all, I'd say it's a better harvest than I expected. To get from my rutabaga. Um, definitely next year I know what I can improve on and I expect to get something even better next year. So over here I'm going to harvest some of my nasturtium flowers. Nasturtium flowers are edible and they're quite pretty so I figure why not uh, incorporate that into a salad or even you know use it to garnish a dish of some sort. Next I have a whole bunch of green cherry tomatoes here, so I'm going to just go ahead and pick those. I'm not totally sure whether I can use green tomatoes, I mean I know, or uh, green cherry tomatoes, sorry, because I know we can use green uh, large tomatoes for things like uh, fried green tomatoes or green tomato chutney, but I'm not sure if green tomato, ch uh, ch green cherry tomatoes are any different. Here's a nice sized green bell pepper that I took off my plant. So I have a couple green tomatoes on this plant. So I think we're going to try making some uh, fried green tomatoes with these. Then moving on to my chocha plant, which is pretty much dead. I'm pretty sure I had a frost this past week and it hit the chocha pretty hard. So here is my chocha harvest, which is 
pretty good. Some of them are at different stages of maturity. Uh, some of those little ones I'm going to try just playing on their own because I got a comment on uh, my Tucha Harvest saying that the small ones uh, were actually very nice. So here are my two jalapeno plants. They've done quite well and I've gotten a few jalapenos from them already during the summer. Uh, so on this plant now there are two that I'm taking off. So when I first planted the plants I um, chopped them almost in half which meant that they branched off instead of just forming one stalk. And that's why they ended up being a lot more st sturdier and uh, bushy and were able to uh, have multiple jalapenos on them. So on this plant I was able to get five nice sized jalapenos. Those will probably be frozen. So here's some broccoli, it's just a little bit um, from my sprouting broccoli. As you can see, I let it go a bit long, so it's flowered, but that's okay because flower, the broccoli flowers are edible. You can have them on a salad or in another dish. Lastly, I have my hot pepper plants that I started from seed. They're called Chinese Five Color. And I have three small hot peppers here. So they're purple because they start out as purple and as they ripen they slowly change color through f uh, four other colors. So this is the mildest. So this is my final harvest. The root bag on the right and everything else on the left. I'm really interested in uh, taking these inside and seeing what I can do with them. So that was my final harvest out of that garden. Uh, this week I'm probably going to take everything out of that garden, uh, take all the remaining straw off, dig it up, and uh, do some of the improvements that I'll be talking about in a future episode. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gardening!